Sup my dudes, Valk here. After playing Abyss for 10 hours straight and streaming it all, so if you guys are curious on how I beat Abyss, just go back to my previous stream. I'll have it titled like Abyss Floor 1 to 50 or whatever. Uh, I'll make it a, a more like condensed guide later on, but after doing everything, we finally have everything we need to go ahead and Evo Shisui. So we're going to be going over Shisui and we're... Shisui. We're going to be over Shisui. And I'm going to be talking about what he does, what his passive is, and everything, and showing off his animations. Uh, he's really cool. I really do like him. I already know what his passive is. Uh, he's really, really dope, in my opinion. And I think he's going to be potentially really good in a bunch of different teams. He has his passive called Sensitive. We'll go over that in a second. First off, Ninja Warrior, Wind Guardian, Prodigy, Awakened Power, Youth, Bright Burning Warrior, Sacrifice, Chakra Master, Mystic Four Size, and Hero. And he leads Mystic Four Size 120. I have him on really good modifiles, max limit broken, as always. So let's go ahead, let's put him on this team so we can see exactly what he does with all the goodness. And this team is insanely good. Um, so we can see exactly what he does, exactly how he works, etc. Because like I said, we'll be going to Sensitive in a minute. And I'll definitely be doing even more videos with him specifically because of what Sensitive does, how it works and why it's good why it enables a bunch of old teams that i really like uh basically because he is going to boost the consistency of crit rate for a lot are not crit rate the consistency for dot percentages for a lot of teams so he's going to be really 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 good for a lot of teams and that to me is going to be a fat w because i like frozen heart a lot it's one of my favorite teams and he's going to boost the consistency of the uh, freeze two application for that team so i'm really glad to have that team back so what i mean by is going to boost the consistency well let's go ahead let's get into it first off we're going to turn on the animations i haven't seen them yet so let's see what his animations are could be dope uh let's get into it after i guess he upgrades he starts out at flame too that's actually sick so what is this that's actually cool he does a little flame spray uh, that's dope. Slash Fury. He gets bleeding after? Wait, he's actually cracked. He has all these different DOTs. Okay, so he gets bleeding after. Now he's finally at sensitive. First, let's see what Heavenly Strike is. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a big old blast from the sky. Uh, and he gets Wind Susano after. Okay. His attack stat's kind of high. That's such a cool animation. Anyways, what is sensitive? Deals 40% damage 8 times to enemies over 8 seconds and increases passive chances by 20%. This is a guaranteed hit. This is something guaranteed to apply to the enemies. So we're going to see exactly how much damage he can pump out. I'm actually pretty curious myself. Since he's full AoE, we normally don't put him... We don't we normally don't put them like here, but he's full AoE, so we are going to stick him here. Uh, he's a limit of three, so let's put him here. I thought he was four, so I was going to keep putting him. Uh, so let's do this. Let's put him here. Let's put this one, max this one out. And then let's go here. And then we're going to put down Naruto as well to go ahead and buff this up. Make sure we stop the Naruto. And then we got to activate this twice because of a little annoying bug. So let's go ahead, put him on five times speed. And then we'll test and see how much damage he does himself. So then let's pop this. How much, like, what's his attack set? 1.3 mil. So he's doing 40% of this over 8 seconds. Yeah, this is going to be nuts. This is going to be really good. So let's just send him a 50 mil enemy, see how he handles it. Um, I'm curious. Because I'm wondering, like, I'm pretty sure sensitive is his own debuff, right? Yeah. You can see it doesn't stack. Let me turn this, turn this down real quick. Uh, you can see it doesn't stack. But it does tick pretty well, and it does reapply itself right after. There's not really a, any downtime for it. You can immediately reapply it, which is nice. He handled 50 mil to about like right here-ish. So I don't think he's going to be able to handle a full 100 mil. So let's pop down to 75. This might be... I think he can handle this, uh, but this might be the extent of what he can handle. But at the end of the day, it's not really about what he can handle. It's about this. The increased passive chances by 40% is going to be so nice because any enemy afflicted with this has a has a 20% chance to increase that yeah 20% right yeah increase passive chances by 20% I think it said 40% but yeah anyways 
it's going to be really good for like freeze two. You'll be able to turn that 40% chance to 60%, which is going to be insane for the consistency. And then I also want to test him out on a bright burning warriors team because he might be able to push that team over the edge with the whole stacking mechanic of flame. That team has some crazy potential now, like absolutely insane potential. And I'm really excited to see exactly what he can do with it. Um, he's probably going to end up replacing Shinra on that team for me, but either way, I got to test it. Anyways, let me know guys in the comment section below. I think he's absolutely worth it to grind for. I think he's going to be super fun to play around in dot teams with. Um, this is going to be a really good unit overall. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.